Pippa Bradshaw there, but now to the AFL's newest recruit from the most unlikely country, China. We followed his journey from his hometown to start his new life at Port Adelaide this week. Here's Sophie Torber. My hometown is small, not so big, and is in the city Chaozhou. They have uh, about 30,000 people live in here, and, but I, I'm the only one person who play footy. He's a really impressive young lad and desperate to um, pursue you know, his ambition of, of playing uh, at the highest level he possibly can. All the way from the humble streets of Chaozhou, a town near Guangzhou in China, Port's latest recruit Chen Xiaoliao is ready to hit the big time. Eight minutes left in the half. I feel a little nervous, but more excited. Yeah, and getting ready for footy. The 23-year-old discovered the game just four years ago when his university started up its own Aussie rules competition in the heart of China. It's a good sport and you can use your hand, you can use your feet. Also, it will, uh, you need to shoot, you should have a, uh, you should have courage to play this sport. Port Adelaide took a chance on the courageous team. We currently um, do a number of things in China. Uh, one of them is that we sponsor uh, a group called Team China who play AFL, have discovered the game on their own. And they play in the AFL International Series every three years. I like my favourite team is uh, power, power, nice power, yeah. Every week Chen takes a three hour train journey to the big smoke in Guangzhou to play with his teammates. In Guangzhou we have two teams, Hong Kong have four teams but uh, in Hong Kong uh, they are all uh, Aussies and just in Guangzhou we, we are local players. The, the big problem in China is that there, there are very, almost no facilities. Um, there's no sports grounds that are big enough. So these lads play AFL on a soccer pitch, basically. And it's on this soccer pitch where Chen works as an AFL ambassador, teaching kids who've never clapped eyes on our beloved game, let alone held a footy, the basics. Chen's talent was noticed when he travelled to Australia as part of the AFL International Series and the Draft Combine. He's around the six, six foot to six foot one. Um, as I said, really athletic and uh, you know, we think that he'll adapt very quickly. Now his persistence and dedication has paid off. He's the first Chinese national recruited by an AFL club. Chen will initially pull on the boots for the Port Adelaide Magpies in the SANFL. CEO Keith Thomas says they won't be rushing him. He'll start with our academy side, um, which uh, uh, is part of the SNFL competition. We think that that's the appropriate level at this stage. What's going to be fascinating, I think, is how fast he can develop. I feel very excited, you know. This, this trend is very hard to get. And thank you, Power, can give that opportunity to me. He's become a superstar in his own hometown, with the close-knit community, along with his family, cheering on the budding Aussie rules footballer. They support me, and they know that's my dream. They support me. After an emotion-charged farewell, <laughs> he jetted into Adelaide this week. See, Meeting his idols and now mentors is a dream come true. Chen Xiaoyang. Yes. He'll pull on number eight for the Magpies, a lucky Chinese number which he says he'll wear with pride. I can feel that's the passion. You will feel the teamwork is very important in the game. Chen's going to be busy trying to master his skills on the field, as well as learning the Aussie lingo. Ready, man? G'day. G'day, man. <laughs> He'll study English and continue his physical education degree at the University of South Australia under the Powers Program. Yeah, from a 
cross-cultural point of view. It's been a wonderful experience for our club. And one the power hope will draw more Chinese players to our game. Another big dream is more and more Chinese players can become FL prof professional players. I just hope I can play well, don't, don't, don't play so bad. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Look forward to seeing him on the field. But up next, Rich versus Poor Adelaide.